No, 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 no. No. What was that? I'm frustrated with it. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to quit, keep doing bullet journal stuff. I just, mm, not happy. But you have so many more months to go. Why, why is it not making you happy? I don't know. Maybe it's the game theme. I'm just really not a gamer. I don't know why I chose that theme. I feel like I have to stick with it because I did the overall theme. I don't know. Well, why are you doing that as an overall theme? Why don't you just... This is all the things I like and so I'm going to do all the things I like so that way I'm more interested and keep doing bullet journals. Too strict on my phone. Mm -hmm. always too strict. Alright, fine. Alright, that's the whole beauty of bullet journals is to keep adjusting it and changing it, right? Right. Okay, alright. Fine, I'll give it another chance. Good. I wanted to show you the flip through of January because it shows the messiness of how it looks after I finish using it for the month and I just wanted to give you that ideal. And I wanted to show you the theme with the silliness and I really wanted to kind of draw for the cover page um, and I really like Eevee as Pokemon so obviously Eevee has to be the main and I really wanted to show her evolutions I really like um, her evolutions and so I just kind of wanted to share that and I really wanted to not just ha draw a Pokeball but I wanted it to open to show Eevee and what I did was I just traced a circle um, and then I traced a circle in the middle and then a circle on the end and a circle on the other end with three connecting circles hopefully I'm making sense and then um, I cut the other ones in half while still leaving a little circle on the top so it can look like a pokeball shedding um, hopefully <laughs> I explained that well enough but I just wanted to kind of tell you how I did that and I tried to stick with the colors and the text of how the Pokemon stuff looks and I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. I think it looks really good. And it was really hard to do the line work and color the evolutions in Eevee. So I called in reinforcements but um, I really did think that I wasn't going to continue in this planner just because, you know, I really do like yearly themes, but for some reason I decided this would be, games would be a good theme for me, but it really wasn't at all. I should have realized that to begin with because I'm just not a gamer person at all. I read books. I do play some games on the Switch, but for the most part, I read books and work on writing and just have a hard time sitting still for that kind of stuff, I guess. And, um, but I really wanted to share that with you guys is uh, that it's okay to not like your planner and it's okay to change. Um, very dramatic <laughs> but I do like Pokemon so that's why I just kept that theme on but I think from here on out for the next month it's gonna be a lot different and I'm gonna try and find themes there's a couple of months I have no idea what I want to do which is different for me I normally like having the whole thing planned out so I know what I'm doing but this year is going to be completely different. And with the monthly theme, I really wanted to um, use the blue to like make the month pop. So I didn't even use a black pen to like give me lines. I just penciled it in and then traced them with a blue marker. And I'm really happy with the way the calendar came out. It looks really pretty. And I'm really happy with the um, 
just kind of doing the squares. I, I'm a little bit worried, so the next month I think I'm going to make the monthly calendar a little bit bigger. Because my days fill up pretty full on some months, and so I want to make sure that I have enough room to fill in all the events and things going on. Which is really important. I use the calendar the most. And then I started using the dailies for like the to-do list for that day and then the weeklies to kind of make sure I understood what was going on like in meetings um, especially meetings because there's so many meetings all the time but I wanted to make sure I had that down so I knew what was going on that week but I also had my to-do list and then I started using the bottom of the pages for like prompts and um for prompts just to kind of get me journaling and writing about something that's so I can look back on it a little bit more and then filling it with stickers too because that's just how I'm gonna I, I like putting the stickers in the bullet journal the last year's bullet journal I drew a lot and I kind of felt stressed because I needed to work on my books I was working on um, last year I was working on bunch of things and I felt really stressed out and so this time I really wanted to try and just play with stickers and I'm having a lot of fun I did not realize I was a sticker fiend until I started trying to find themes and trying to find stickers for those themes and it was <laughs> it was a lot of fun to try and think about ooh what if I found these stickers or and then Jay gifted me a bunch of different stickers too, which made it even funner. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. But hopefully um, you enjoy seeing the setups. Um, I plan on changing the monthlies, I think, more than the weekly setup. But we'll see how that goes. I think that... Um, Trying to keep up with the weekly and daily together, we'll, we'll see if that works better for me. I tried doing fortnights, and I felt a little not pleased with that idea. <laughs> so, um, when the flip through after I talk to you guys at the end, we'll be... Um, show you kind of what I did for this month, monthly, weekly, and daily kind of setup. And then um, I found this really cool washi tape, and I talk about this through the whole video, but I really like that it has the weekly setup stuff with it, and <laughs> I'm really happy with, uh, it just makes things easy for me. And I like doing the writing too, so I'll probably continue on with that, but I do like the stickers. And I like adding stickers on the pages and trying to figure out which stickers will fit where. Um, it kind of a little bit of a relaxing type of activity. You know, I couldn't have done this without Jay. Jay helped me kind of color this. Um, even with the magnifying glass, these little ones, oh my gosh, they are so tiny. I had such a hard time. So Jay came and saved the day. I do like Pokemon a lot. I am um, really happy with the way it came out. And I found my favorite washi tape, guys. I'm sorry, but if you can find anything that has the days of the week, that is like the most awesomest washi tape ever. <laughs> Because I didn't have to worry about it. I just cut it and slapped it down. <laughs> it was awesome. So we're going to keep going with this. I know at the beginning I was ready to just throw it out. But 
I'm trying to figure out a way to make it work. Um, I definitely took away, um, like in January, I had the times for the weeklies. I got rid of that um, for this month and for here on out because I can't, I can't do that. I cannot keep track of my days like that. I'm a task checklist person. So um, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna stick to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye well, Mookie. I wanted to show you my Pokemon collection and um, so that way you could kind of see I really am a nerd. <laughs> and then with the flip through, I really like the cover page, I really needed Jay to help me. And I really like the um, the weekly and month daily setup that I did and I feel really happy with the way that it looks. And I should have left the bottom more open because my to-do list do not fill that whole lineup. So um, something to remember for next month hopefully. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it.